Good morning, all. Welcome to the lecture of complex analysis. I am audible. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So in last lecture we have started our first unit, which is nothing but a bilinear transformation. What is a bilinear transformation? transformation of the form az plus b upon cz plus d where ad minus b is not equal to 0 then it is called as bilinear transformation bilinear transformation and after that we have proved one result which is nothing but a composition of two bilinear transformation is again a bilinear transformation for that we have considered two linear tra bilinear transformation s1 z and s2 z and we have proved that s1 composite s2 z is again a bilinear transformation since it is of the form a z plus b upon c z plus d and a d minus b c is not equal to zero. That is actually it is of the form a dash z plus b dash divided by c dash z plus d dash where some a dash b dash c dash and d dash are some particular values in terms of a b c d. Okay, and a dash d dash minus b dash c dash is also is also not equal to zero. And hence the corresponding mapping that is s one composite s two z is a, again a bilinear transformation since it holds the definition of bilinear transformation. now the next concept which is nothing but is a inverse of a bilinear transformation inverse of bilinear transformation okay so it will be the definition C first definition. Let W equal to S of Z is equal to A Z plus B upon C Z plus D, where A D minus B C is not equal to zero. It's a bilinear transformation. Bilinear transformation. then its inverse is defined by its inverse is defined by yes inverse of z is equal to minus of dz plus b upon cz minus d again it is of the form az plus b upon cz plus d and if The condition hold that is a d minus b c is not equal to zero. Then it must be a bilinear transformation. That then we say that the inverse of a bilinear transformation is again a bilinear transformation. Now the inverse of bilinear transformation is defined in this way. That is minus of d z plus b upon c z minus c. Again minus a into minus d, which is nothing but a d minus b c. And a d minus b c is already not equal to zero. So here also a d minus b c is not equal to zero. So The mapping which is defined by S inverse of Z equal to minus of D Z plus B upon C Z minus A is the inverse of this mapping S of Z equal to A Z plus B upon C Z plus D, and it also holds this condition A D minus B C not equal to zero. Then it must be a bilinear transformation, and it is the inverse of our given bilinear transformation W that is A Z plus B upon C Z plus D. Okay, so this will be a definition of our inverse of a bilinear transformation. But if suppose we have some particular bilinear transformation, then how will you find out its a Inverse. Suppose that if first our given transformation will be W equal to A Z plus B upon C Z plus D. That is a yes, subject, and we have to find out its inverse. Then just multiply both sides by C Z plus D. Then we get W C Z plus W D equal to A Z plus B. That is W C Z. Minus a z plus w d minus of b and which is equal to z. Now take z common. Then it is nothing but w c minus of a and take this one as a on right hand side. Then it is nothing but plus b minus w d. That is minus of w d plus b and now divide both side by w c minus a. Then we get z equal to minus of w d plus b upon W C minus A. Okay, so this will be a particular value of our Z. 
from given value of w okay as w equal to az plus b upon cz plus d that is s of z then z equal to minus of wd plus b upon wc minus a is a inverse of this transformation since this will be in the form of in the form of z and this this will be in the in terms of w then it must be a inverse of this one but as z equal to minus of wd plus b upon wc minus a but we require a s inverse of z then actually this one is nothing but s inverse of z that is w inverse is equal to now we have to take in this in the form of z that is in terms of z then it is nothing but just replace w by z then we get minus of w into z sorry minus of d into z plus b upon c into z minus d so in this way we can easily find out a inverse of any given bilinear transformation Okay. Yes. No, that is not answer, guys. Yes, join the class now. Jhale ka join. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. So this will be a inverse of our given linear transformation W equal to AZ plus B upon CZ plus D. Who will carry doubt? Yeah, Madhe. No, sir. Okay. Now let us suppose there is one example. If suppose W will be equal to Z plus two upon Z plus three, for example, let. W equal to that is S of Z will be equal to Z plus two upon Z plus three. Then what is its inverse? Which implies yes, inverse of Z is nothing but minus of D into Z minus D. D will be equal to three. It means it's minus minus of three into Z plus B as it is divided by C Z. C will be what is the value of C here? One. One. One, which is Z as it is minus of A. A is nothing but one again so it is nothing but this one therefore inverse of a given bilinear transformation is minus of 3z plus 2 divided by z minus 1 if we pull if we take s into s inverse that is actually a binary operation composition is defined on the bilinear transformation then we if we take yes composite s inverse or s inverse composite yes then we must get a identity transformation okay or if suppose if we using the value of w for example if you, your g1 will be w equal to z plus 2 upon z plus 3 then from that one just find the value of z then we get wz plus 3w minus of z minus of 2 equal to 0 then z into w minus 1 and which is equal to minus of 3w plus 2 and z will be equal to minus of 3 W plus, plus 2 divided by W minus 1. Now, just put that value in our given equation, then it must hold. Okay, that is put Z equal to minus of 3W plus 2 divided by W minus 1 plus 2 divided by Z plus 3, which is nothing but minus of 3W plus 2 divided by W minus 1 plus 3. So, which is nothing but minus of 3w plus 2 plus 2w minus 2 divided by minus of 3w plus 2 plus 3w minus 3. So, plus 2 minus 2 get cancelled. Minus of 3w plus 2w, which is minus of w divided by minus 3w plus 3w get cancelled. 2 minus 3 minus 1 and which is equal to w that is if you consider this one then our given condition will be hold here therefore this one must this one that is minus of 3z plus 2 upon z minus 1 must be a inverse of our given bilinear transformation z plus 2 upon z plus 3 okay so if we have bilinear transformation then we can easily find out its inverse 
Okay, now there is one result. The set of all bilinear transformation linear transformations forms a non-abelian group non-abelian group under the operation that is the under the binary operation composition or the binary operation composition okay so here we have to prove that the set of all bilinear transformation if supposed to be any set of all the bilinear transformation then we have to prove that t forms a group with respect to a binary operation composition that is non abelian group it means it holds the first four condition closure associativity existence of identity and existence of inverse and as it here we have to prove that non abelian group then we have to show that it does not hold the commutativity property that is if we assume s to be any two bilinear transformation then s1 composite s2 is not equal to s2 composite s1 then we say that the corresponding group is non abelian group so see it's Prove okay. Let P be a set of all the bilinear transformations. Bilinear transformations. Now we have to prove that T forms a group with respect to composition. Okay, as we have to prove that T is group, then we have to prove that T is closed under given binary operation and T holds the associative property and last two are the existence of identity and existence of inverse. Okay, so first one is nothing but the closure property what is a closure property kasa prove karnar it apan dilela set t ha closed ahe under the binary operation composition it prove kasa karna apan W1 W2 belongs to T implies W1 composite uh, W2 belongs to T. He is a proof killer, the upon monarchy, the Dilila set to TA, ha closed a hey, apply binary operation composition chander. Okay, so for that, we'll just take W1 W2, that is S1Z and S2Z, be any two members of T. Late S1Z and that is W1 and S2Z belonging to T. And T be a collection of all the bilinear transformation and all the bilinear transformations are of the form EZ plus B upon CZ plus D, which implies S1Z is nothing but A1Z plus B upon CZ plus D. Sorry, A1Z plus B1 upon C1Z plus D1. As it is bilinear transformation, then it must hold the condition A1D1 minus B1C1 not equal to 0. And S2 of Z, which is equal to a two z plus b two upon c two z plus d two, where a two d two minus of b two c two is again not equal to zero. So these are the two transformations. Now we have to prove that the given state t is closed under the given binary operation. That is, we have to prove that s one composite s two is again a member of t. But t is a collection of all the bilinear transformation. And in previous lecture, we have proved that. The composition of two bilinear transformation is again a bilinear transformation. So as we know that composition of two bilinear transformation bilinear transformation is again 
a bilinear transformation. That is S1, S2 are two bilinear transformation, then S1 composite S2 must be a bilinear transformation. As T is a collection of all the bilinear transformation, then S1 composite S2 must be belonging to T, which implies S1 composite S2 of J must be belonging to T since S1 J and S2 J belonging to T. Okay. Which implies T is closed under binary operation composition. Okay. कुणाल काही डाउट आहे मध्ये काय सोन कंपोजिट एस टू काय तर परत एकदा प्रूव करायची गरज आहे नो सर काल आपण प्रूव केले ना ए डॅश झेड प्लस बी डॅश आपण सी डॅश झेड प्लस डी डॅश ए डॅश बी डॅश चे व्हॅल्यू जे आहे ते इन टर्म्स ऑफ ए वन बी वन सी वन डी वन आणखी ए टू बी टू सी टू डी टू च्या काहीतरी फॉर्म मध्ये असतील ओके टी इज क्लोज अंडर कॉम्पोजिशन नाव द सेकंड वन इज असोसिएटिव्ह टी Okay, and what is associativity? If A, B, C are any three members of our given set G, then we have to prove that A star B star C is nothing but A star B star C for all A, B, C belonging to G, where G is any non-empty set and star B a binary operation defined on that set G. If it holds this condition, then the given set is closed under the associativity property. So as here we have to prove that associativity on T, then we have to take any three bilinear transformation belonging to set T. So let Yes, one J, yes, two J, and yes, three J are belonging to set T, which implies yes, one J is nothing but E one J plus B one divided by C one J plus D one, where E one D one minus of B one C one is not equal to zero. Second one, yes, two of J, which is E two J plus B two upon C two J plus D two, where E two D two minus of B two C two is not equal to zero, and finally S three of J is equal to E three J plus B three upon C three J plus D three, where E three D three. Minus of P three C three is not equal to J, which is just by our given as S one S two S three are members of T, then they are of the form this one that is S one is of the form A one J plus B one upon C one J plus B one and similarly S two and S three. Now we have to prove the condition that is to prove that S one composite S two composite S three is equal to Yes, one composite yes two composite of yes three. But as we know that the composition of two bilinear transformation is again a bilinear transformation. See that is T is closed under the given binary operation composition. Then it obviously holds the this associativity property. Okay, so which implies yes one composite yes two composite yes three is always equal to yes one composite yes two. Composite yes three. Okay, Delhi given jo set T I A to closed under composition hai. So to obviously he condition satisfies kare liye. S one composite S two composite S three and which is equal to S one composite S two composite S three. Jab tumara check us karaye ta sale tab tumi check karu shakta. Okay, just take these three transformation and first find out S one composite S two composite S three. If we find out S two composite S three, then just put that value here. This value as a The this value is considered Z, and it put it in S one object. Then we get a S one composite S two composite S three, and the and in second one we have to prove that S one composite S two. First find out S one composite S two. Whatever will be its value, then take this one as some S four and S four composite S three. Just we have to use that one. That is the composition of two bilinear transformation is again a bilinear transformation, and from that one we get the value of this one. And they will be obviously equal to the our LHS. Okay, so here the first two condition holds. Now the second, con the third condition, it is nothing but the existence of identity. Existence of 
identity. Okay. So the bilinear transformation. W equal to Z that is I of Z is a identity transformation. Okay. This will be obviously a bilinear transformation since W equal to Z can be written as one into Z plus zero divided by zero into Z plus one. That is here AD minus BC, AD minus BC is obviously not equal to zero since A will be equal to one and D equal to one. One into one, which is one minus of zero, which is one and which is not equal to zero. So condition of bilinear transformation holds here. So W equal to Z is a bilinear transformation and it is an identity transformation. If we want to check, so let us take, let S of Z equal to a z plus b upon c z plus d and any element e is said to be identity element if a into e equal to e into a equal to a for any element a is belonging to our given set g as here we have taken any arbitrary bilinear transformation s of z which is a z plus b upon c z plus d as we have to say that i of z will be a bilinear uh, sorry identity transformation then we have to prove that s composite i equal to i composite s equal to s itself then only we say that the corresponding transformation i of z equal to z which is a identity transformation so consider s composite i of z which is nothing but s of i of z i of z will be z which is nothing but and s of z is nothing but a z plus b upon c z plus t so here we get s composite i as s itself okay now i composite s of z i of s of z s of z is nothing but a z plus b upon c z plus d but our given transformation i is a identity transformation manje je kahi maza variable z ase to as it is deto kon identity transformation ito maje z chi value kay a z plus b upon c z plus d then i of this one this is this one a z plus b upon c z plus d and that is one nothing but yes which implies yes composite i equal to i composite yes equal to yes and from that one, we say that I of Z is a identity transformation. Okay, okay. Kunal, can you doubt about No, sir. Okay. Now the last one is nothing but the existence of inverse. Fourth one. Existence. Of inverse. Okay, so let s yes equal to a z plus b upon c z plus d be a bilinear transformation. And now we have to find out the its inverse. That is, we have to find out to find out s yes inverse. Such a that yes composite yes inverse equal to yes inverse composite yes equal to i. Then only we say that this yes inverse is a inverse of a given bilinear transformation. Yes. Okay. So now by the definition of inverse of bilinear transformation, if yes equal to a z plus b upon c z plus d is a bilinear transformation, then yes inverse of z is nothing but minus of d z plus b upon c z of c z minus a. By definition of inverse of bilinear transformation yes inverse of z is nothing but minus of dz plus b upon cz minus a but this yes inverse is said to be a inverse of given s yes. if s yes composite s yes inverse and s yes inverse composite s yes must be equal to i so consider here also ad minus bc is not equal to zero okay now consider s yes composite s yes inverse of z and which is nothing but s yes of s yes inverse of z which is equal to s yes of 
what should be s inverse of z which is nothing but minus of bz plus b upon cz minus a okay now the value of z is whole this one that is minus dz plus b upon cz minus a just put that one in our given s of z which is nothing but a into z z will be minus of dz plus b upon cz minus a plus b divided by c into z minus of dz plus b upon cz minus a plus d so by multiplying this these we get a into minus of dz plus b plus b into cz minus a whole divided by cz minus a and here c into minus of dz plus b plus d into cz minus a okay and cz minus a from this one and cz minus a from this one get cancer okay so which is nothing but minus of a dz plus b c z plus a b minus a b divided by minus of c d z plus d c z plus b c minus a d minus c d z plus d c z gets cancelled a b minus a b get cancelled so which is equal to take z common z common then which is nothing but b c minus a d and which is divided by again b c minus a d b c minus a d b c minus a d get cancelled and which is nothing but z and z is nothing but i of z so here we have proved that yes composite yes inverse of z is equal to a identity transformation okay so similarly we can prove the yes or composite yes is also identity transformation okay so let us consider yes inverse composite yes of z is equal to yes inverse of yes of z yes of z is z plus b divided by c z plus b but yes inverse of z is nothing but minus of dz plus b upon c z minus a minus of d z is e z plus b divided by c z plus d and minus of dz plus b b is nothing but as it is upon c z minus a c z will be a z plus b upon c z plus b minus of a and which is equal to minus of e d z minus of b d plus b minus of d z plus b z plus sorry plus b into c z b c z plus b d c z plus d whole divided which is c a z plus b c minus of a c z minus of a d and c z plus d c z plus d gets cancelled now plus b d minus b d get cancelled c a z c a z get cancelled now which is take z common then we get b c minus a d and divided by b c minus of a d again b c minus a d b c minus a d get cancelled and which is equal to z and that one is the identity transformation so yes inverse composite yes of z equal to i of z which implies yes composite yes inverse equal to yes inverse composite yes is equal to i and which implies n is inverse is a inverse of our given bilinear transformation yes hence inverse element for any bilinear transformation exists okay in it out no sir so from 1 2 3 and 4 from 1 2 3 and 4 the set t forms a group 
under the binary operation composition. Okay, and that is one way how to prove. Kis prove karay sotak? Yes, sir. Kaan kin kahi hai? Okay, we have to prove that the set T of all the bilinear transformation forms a non-abelian group. That is, we have to prove that it is not commutative. Okay, so for that, let us consider S1 and S2 be any two bilinear transformation. Let S1 Z equal to A1 Z plus B1 upon C1 Z plus D1, and S2 of Z is equal to A2 Z plus B2 upon C two Z plus D two, where A two D two minus of B two C two is not equal to zero, and here A one D one minus of B one C one is not equal to zero. B any two linear transformations. B any two by linear transformation. Okay. Now we have to check whether S one composite S two is equal to S two composite S one or no. So consider. Yes, one composite yes two of Z, and which is equal to yes one into yes two of Z, which is a two Z plus b two upon c two Z plus d two, which is equal to a one into Z, which is a two Z plus b two upon c two Z plus d two plus b one. Upon C1 into A2 Z plus B2 upon C2 Z plus D2 plus D1. Just take the multiplication of unit of then it is A1 into A2 of Z plus A1 B2 plus B1 into C2 of Z plus B1 D2. Whole divided by a two into c one z plus b two into c one plus b one into c two z plus b one d two. Okay, so which is equal to a one a two plus b one c two of z plus a one b two. Plus B one D two divided by A two C one plus B one C two of Z plus B two C one plus B one D two. Okay, so this will be a yes one composite yes two of Z. Okay, take this one as equation one. Now consider. And yes, two composite yes one of Z, which is equal to yes two of yes one Z, and yes one Z is nothing but a one Z plus b one divided by c one Z plus b one. Now just put in a two into a one Z plus b one divided by c one Z plus b one plus b two. Divided by C two into A one Z plus B one divided by C one Z plus B one plus B two. Okay, so which is equal to A one A two Z plus B one A two plus B two C one Z plus D one B two divided by A one C two Z plus B one C two plus C one D two Z plus B one D two. So which is equal to A one A two plus B two C one of Z plus B one A two plus D one B two divided by. A one C two plus C one D two of Z plus B one C two plus D one D two. That one is nothing but yes two composite 
yes one or shit take this one as equation now compare equation 1 and 2 whether equation 1 and equation 2 are equal here the value of a dash suppose this will be a dash okay so a dash is nothing but a1 a2 plus b1 c2 whether it is equal to this one a1 a2 plus b2 c1 so a dash and if suppose this will be a double dash whether a dash and a double dash are same no sir okay as they are not equal then the corresponding bilinear transformations are not equal since any two bilinear transformations are same if and only if its corresponding complex constants are equal otherwise it is not possible as a and a double dash are not equal then the corresponding bilinear transformations are not equal which implies s1 composite s2 is not equal to s2 composite s1 which implies t is not closed under commutative degree closed under commutative property okay so which implies t is not a abelian that is t is a non abelian group under the binary operation composition and hence the proof. okay no doubt ya madhe no sir okay now the next definition is nothing but the critical point what is a critical point i think this one we have studied in real also what is a critical point is a critical point suppose there is a point x not then this point is said to be a critical point in our given domain if suppose there is a function f of, of x not equal to 0 f dash x not equal to 0 or f dash x equal to 0 equal to 0 equal to 0 ka not equal to 0 नॉट पॉजिटिव टू नेगेटिव नेगेटिव टू पॉजिटिव हे मॅक्सिमम आणि मिनिमम झाल ना पण सर त्या टर्निंग पॉइंटला क्रिटिकल पॉइंट होता ना तर त्या पॉइंटला मॅक्सिमम आहे का मिनिमम आहे हे सांगताच येत नाही यस कोण त्या एंड पॉइंटला का हां पण ऍक्च्युअली डेफिनेशन काय आहे प्रत्येक वेळेला तुम्ही ग्राफ थोडीस काढू शकणार आहे त्याचा म्हणजे तुम्ही क्रिटिकल पॉइंट शोधायचा असेल तर मग त्याचा मॅक्सिम मिनिमम काढून चेक करणार क्रिटिकल पॉइंट ला पण पर्टिक्युलर काय काय डेफिनेशन असेल की बरं ठीक आहे एखादा पॉइंट हा क्रिटिकल पॉइंट कधी होतो जर दिलेला माझा फंक्शन एफ असेल तर एक्स नॉट हा पॉइंट जो की आपल्या डोमेन मध्ये आहे तो पॉइंट त्या फंक्शन साठी क्रिटिकल पॉइंट कधी होतो एक तर त्या पॉइंटला दिलेला फंक्शन हा डिफरन्शिएबल नसायला हवा म्हणजे त्या पॉइंटला माझा फंक्शन डिफरन्शिएबल नाही आणि जर डिफरन्शिएबल असेल तर त्याचा डेरिव्हेटिव्ह मस्ट बी इक्वल टू झिरो देन ओनली वी सी दॅट द करस्पॉन्डिंग पॉइंट एक्स नॉट विल बी अ क्रिटिकल पॉइंट फॉर अ गिवन फंक्शन या ओके सो दॅट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑर इफ सपोज डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ झेड बी एनी बायलिनियर ट्रान्सफॉर्मेशन देन ए पॉइंट झेड नॉट इज सेड टू बी अ क्रिटिकल पॉइंट ऑफ दॅट बायलिनियर ट्रान्सफॉर्मेशन डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू एफ ऑफ झेड इफ डी डब्ल्यू ऑफ वन डी झेड will be equal to 0 or infinity then only the corresponding 
point z not is that is dz not upon sorry dw upon dz not will be either zero or infinity then only the corresponding point z not is a critical point otherwise it is not a critical point so let us see the definition if w equal to f of z be a bilinear transformation be a bilinear transformation then the critical point of that point w sorry the bilinear transformation w equal to f of z is nothing but if dw upon dz if we find out the derivative with respect to z then we get dw upon dz and then we have to find out all the points where the, our given derivative dw upon dz will be zero or infinite and such a collection is called as a collection of our critical points okay then so if w equal to f of z be a bilinear transformation then the points then the points where dw upon dz is equal to 0 or infinity are said to be are said to be critical points of points of f of z okay just we have to find out the derivative and we have to check with whether on that points the corresponding our corresponding our derivative that is dw upon dz will be equal to zero or infinity if it is zero and in zero or infinity then that point will be a critical point otherwise it is not a critical point or definition okay the critical point critical point in the domain of the function function where the function where the function is not differentiable is either not differentiable and if it is differentiable then its derivative must be equal to zero or the derivative is equal to zero is equal to zero both the definitions have the same meaning okay as the given function is not differentiable at that point it means that value of that point or its value of the derivative of that function must be equal to infinity okay so both the definitions have the same meaning okay so second one will be easy easier to understand since here just we have to check whether given function is not differentiable at that point and if it is differentiable then its derivative must be equal to zero okay then only the point will be a critical point otherwise it is not a critical point okay now our given bilinear transformation is nothing but w equal to f of z and equal to a z plus b upon c z plus b okay now just find out its derivative what is dw upon dz dw by dz is nothing but just we have to use the u by v rule what is u by v rule U upon which derivative is cut V into du minus V into du minus U into U dv into divided du. by V square. So V is nothing but CZ plus D. So CZ plus D as it is. What is the derivative of AZ plus B with respect to Z? A. A minus of AZ plus B. And with respect to z, the derivative of denominator will be c divided by cz plus d bracket square. Bracket square, so which is equal to a c z plus a d minus a c z minus b c divided by c z plus d 
bracket school okay which is nothing but this acz acz get cancel so the remaining part will be ed minus bc divided by cz plus d bracket school this will be a derivative of and we know that now any point is said to be a critical point of this given function w if dw upon dz will be equal to 0 or dw upon dz will be equal to infinity now if we have to check the first one that is dw upon dz will be equal to 0 we upon to check karu shakto a term equal to 0 given ed minus bc upon cz plus d upon cz plus d square is equal to 0 getla tar aplyala sarva te ashe point milti jithe dw upon dz a 0 hai pan ek problem hoil jar apan ed minus bc upon cz plus d square ha equal kela 0 la tar yacha arth kay hoil ed minus bc equal to 0 hoil पण ad minus bc हा नॉट इक्वल टू 0 आहे कारण दिलेली ट्रान्सफॉर्मेशन ही बायलिनियर ट्रान्सफॉर्मेशन आहे आणि त्याच्यानुसार ad minus bc ही नॉट इक्वल टू 0 आहे सो आपण हे मेथड यूज करू शकत नाही ad minus bc upon cz plus d square इक्वल टू 0 हे करू शकत नाही मग दुसरी पॉसिबिलिटी काय राहिली आपल्याला असे व्हॅल्यू शोधायचे आहेत ज्यासाठी माझा डिनोमिनेटर हा इन्फिनिटी होईल जर डिनोमिनेटर माझा इन्फिनिटी झाला तर ad minus bc upon infinity काय येईल 0 0 येईल कारण बाकी सर्व तो कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्स्टेंट है एबीसीडी तो कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्स्टेंट है मग मैं वैरी करू शक नहीं तो मैं चेंज कशा वैल्यू करू शो फिर जेड की मग जेड की वैल्यू का पाजे जेव जेनेकर सीजे प्लस डी ब्रैकेट स्क्वेर हा इन्फिनिटी मिले जेड या को वैल्यूला सीजे प्लस डी हा इन्फिनिटी वैल्यू दे ए बी सी डी कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्स्टेंट है कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्स्टेंट असल्यामुळे इथं प्लस इन्फिनिटी आणि मायनस इन्फिनिटी हा प्रकार नसतो रियल मध्येच फक्त प्लस इन्फिनिटी मायनस इन्फिनिटी आहे जर कॉम्प्लेक्स मध्ये इमॅजिनरी व्हॅल्यू असल्यामुळे तुमच्या आय स्क्वेअरची व्हॅल्यू मायनस वन आहे तुम्ही प्लस इन्फिनिटीला मायनस इन्फिनिटी करू शकता मायनसला प्लस करू शकता म्हणजे प्लस इन्फिनिटी हा एकच असतो कॉम्प्लेक्सला ओके सो मायनस इन्फिनिटी प्लस इन्फिनिटी मध्ये कन्फ्युज होऊ नका फक्त झेड ची काय व्हॅल्यू येऊ जेणेकरून मला सी झेड प्लस डी हा इन्फिनिटी मिळेल हा इन्फिनिटी कधी होईल हो सी आणि डी तर दोन कॉम्प्लेक्स कॉन्स्टंट आहेत म्हणजे हे तर माझे ऑब्व्हियसली इन्फिनिटी नाही आहे आता दुसरी कोणती पॉसिबिलिटी आहे जी की करून मला आर एच एस इन्फिनिटी मिळेल झेडलाच इन्फिनिटी घ्यावं लागेल दुसरी कोणती पॉसिबिलिटी आहे का ओके सो इफ झेड इक्वल टू इन्फिनिटी देन सी झेड प्लस डी विल बी इक्वल टू इन्फिनिटी देन इट इज ऑफ दी फॉर्म ईडी मायनस बी सी अपॉन इन्फिनिटी अँड विच इज इक्वल टू झेड सो माझा डेरिवेटिव्ह दिलेल्या फंक्शन डब्ल्यू चा कधी झिरो होईल जर झेड इक्वल टू इन्फिनिटी असेल तर तो इफ झेड इक्वल टू इन्फिनिटी विच इम्प्लाईज डी डब्ल्यू अपॉन डी झेड विल बी इक्वल टू झिरो देन ओनली डी डब्ल्यू बाय डी झेड विल बी झिरो कारण मी बाकीच्या व्हॅल्यूला घेऊच शकत नाही कारण मी बाकीच्या व्हॅल्यूला इक्वल टू झिरो केलो तर एडी मायनस बी सी हा माझा झिरो होणार आहे आणि एडी मायनस बी सी हा कधीच झिरो नसतो त्यामुळे हे मेथड तर कधीच यूज होणार नाही सो एकच पॉसिबिलिटी आहे डी डब्ल्यू बाय डी झेड इक्वल टू झिरो होण्याची ती म्हणजे झेड इक्वल टू इन्फिनिटी याला सोडून कोणत्याही व्हॅल्यूला तो झिरो होणार आहे नाव सेकंड कंडिशन विल बी डी डब्ल्यू अपॉन डी झेड इक्वल टू इन्फिनिटी हे मला घेऊन यायचंय डी डब्ल्यू अपॉन डी झेड हा माझा इन्फिनिटी कधी होईल जर माझा डिनॉमिनेटर जो आहे तो इक्वल टू झिरो असेल तर म्हणजे जर एडी मायनस बी सी डिवायडेड बाय जर झिरो आला तर याची करस्पॉन्डिंग व्हॅल्यू माझी काही इन्फिनिटी होईल सो हे सी झेड प्लस डी हा माझा झिरो कधी होईल जर इक्वेट करा डायरेक्ट सी झेड प्लस डी इक्वल टू झिरो देन व्हॉट इज द व्हॅल्यू ऑफ झेड मायनस डी बाय सी मायनस डी बाय सी इफ वी पुट मायनस डी बाय सी हियर देन वी गेट सी सी गेट कॅन्सल मायनस डी प्लस डी विच इज इक्वल टू झिरो सो हियर झेड इक्वल टू मायनस ऑफ डी अपॉन सी इफ सीड इक्वल टू मायनस ऑफ डी अपॉन सी विच इम्प्लाईज सो हिट विल बी आयदर झिरो ऑर इन्फिनिटी अँड दॅट व्हॅल्यूज आर झेड इक्वल टू इन्फिनिटी ऑर झेड इक्वल टू मायनस ऑफ डी अपॉन सी विच इम्प्लाईज इम्प्लाईज झेड इक्वल टू सॉरी
क्रिटिकल पॉइंट डाउट ओके देर इज नो डाउट इन लेटेस्ट सी वन एक्साम्पल सपोज एफ ऑफ झेड इज इक्वल टू झेड रेस टू फाइव टू सॉरी क्वास हाइपर बोलिंग झेड डेरिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटिवेटि